Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, baby. I got a controversial statement. I think Venom 1 was one of the best movies on our channel. The best? One of them. I, I would say it was one of the best superhero movies for sure. Guys, maybe I'm tripping, I don't know, but I really, really enjoyed the first film. Woody Harrelson promised it was gonna be carnage in this one, baby, so. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, like always. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. St. SC's Reform School, California, 96, baby. You can tell it's a hot summer night. No, insects chirping. Lights up! Cletus, are you there? My angel. What the heck? He said the mutations are advancing. My powers are too strong. It's gonna be okay. They're coming to take me away. They're sending me to a place where there are others like me. They can't do that. They can't take you from me. You're my one bright light. What are you talking about, Cletus? I like the name Cletus. You like that? Sounds like a country name. Man, that number was nine, 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 nine. Did you see that on the front? Nope. Any last words? The license plate number. She's got some mutant tendencies. Right. Did he shoot her in the face? Maybe the, the eye? Welcome to your new home, Francis. I already have the feeling she's gonna knock one of them things out, out one of the people. What? <laughs> she's a screecher, you know? Yeah, like in the yeah. X-Men movie? Yeah, but she's like a screecher and they they obviously can't deal with vibrations. I feel like she's like the anti. Oh, I see what you're saying. She's yeah. gonna come in handy. That's probably why they need her. Yeah, that's, what, the that's what I was getting. Thank you for picking up what I was saying. I just said very vague terms. <clears throat> it's all good. And you gathered it. <laughs> Your old boyfriend's finally getting what he deserves. That was Woody Harrelson, wasn't it? And the world will be a safer place without him. Now I see. But what did he do? <laughs> he, he's guilty. He, he kind of looks like a Cletus right now. Yeah, <laughs> that smile means you guilty. Let there be. Bitch. I don't want anything to do with Cletus Cassidy. Well, that's too bad because he only wants to see you. Right, Um. so <laughs> what does he want? Maybe he wants to spill the beans about where the missing bodies are buried. So you're gonna have to do the right thing for a change. Oh! No! Take your tight hands <laughs> off of me! <laughs> we should be out there protecting the city lethally! <laughs> I remember why I like this movie so much. Because you have to deal with that thing. He's what? sassy. Was that? Unhand me! <laughs> Man should never consent to crawl when he <laughs> the girls about to fly. <laughs> How many times have I told you? I want you to hide yourself. And when I am working, I am serious. It is important you have to show respect. <laughs> respect? Yes. Cassidy gonna give you the scoop, right? Right. Wrong. What do you mean? Because you blow everything. Ah, okay, Ooh. I see you were talking about Anne again. I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> I will do it. I don't like you. <laughs> is him. You do not deserve <laughs> nice things. <laughs> he saved his life, Loki. That was a crazy shot when he almost bit him in the back of the head. Welcome back, Eddie Brock. I've been thinking about you. But you have, Cletus. <laughs> what do you oh, want, Cletus. Cletus? I mean, why am I here? Get a message out to all my fans. I'll give you my life. What? Story. Uh -huh. Piece like this and exclusive would put you back on top. People love serial killers. All my secrets. So much carnage. Wow. I don't like that word. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. What's your message? That distant cathedral it's all I see. Fractured angel. The other part of me. Oh, oh that means it's a secret. Hurt. Print that in your column. Who's going to read that? It's some random haiku. <laughs> Print it. And what's mine 
is yours. And he's wow, like, they're lucky. okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just Thank wants you. to know where the bodies are. <laughs> Thank you. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to be fair, though, I probably what wouldn't have thought much of it either. Don't forget me, Eddie. He knows Eddie's stupid enough to go do that. That's why he only wants to talk to him. What do you get? Uh, I got a headache and probably got tuberculosis. Is this some kind of joke to you, Eddie? These things, they just take a little time, right? But the second he gives you something, of course. Why does he got all the hippie stuff on his helmet? <laughs> the only scoop I'm getting today is double chocolate chip. No! I get brain freeze! That sounds delicious, though. Look. I'm looking. Grab those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. He's like a 3D oh. printer. Now, what do you think? I think I'm Pablo Picasso. No! <laughs> uh, it's a house. Never mind. <laughs> he said it's a house. <laughs> oh, I know this one. It's a tree. Idiot. Sit down. <laughs> Pay attention. Whoa. Look at him just typing stuff. Bingo. Oh, snap. That was crazy. Because Venom's too yeah. smart. Yeah, cognitively, he's something different. You are the only person from the outside world he's spoken with. Seems he likes you. Well, you know, he's a serial killer. I don't see how he could like anyone. <laughs> Rock was able to uncover what the FBI and police could not. <laughs> He's so mad. The governor of California has overturned his moratorium and reinstated the death penalty for Cassidy. Oh, she's pissed. Oh. Rock's career has been given a much needed revival, putting him back on top once more. He needed that. Willie struggling. Oh, he's on top right now. Yeah. He's doing Willie's <laughs> jump in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm like when that YouTube money comes through. <laughs> <laughs> You're wild. Vindication for the victims and closure for the families. Thanks to the diligence of one man. This could be us, Eddie. Going out there solving cases. <laughs> Fighting bad guys. Maybe I eat them. But well, we saved the day. It's done. <laughs> Do that. I could eat bad guys. He's kind of out of control, though. <laughs> Look at him biting a tire. <laughs> Dang, he's full taken over, huh? I cannot Maybe he gets like this anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so we eat those guys. I can't. Sonny and Cher are best friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's what they're <laughs> oh. That was abusive. You have got to keep control of your aggression. That is why we have Snooky. I cannot live. <laughs> <eat them. laughs> He's so I need brains. Chickens have brains. I most passionately disagree. Small brains. You live on the old Fenny Lathala. Fenny Lathala. Fenny Lathala. Yeah. It is only found in brains <laughs> and in chocolate. chocolate. You live in my body. You live by my rules. I live in your body because, what? unfortunately, I don't have many options. <laughs> How about this, son? The FBI is still investigating us for all of that stuff that we were involved with. So if one more head goes missing, we will get hauled off into Area 51. They will kill us both. <laughs> Can you stop doing that? Jesus, stop. It would be hard to live with that. God damn it, fine. That'd be miserable. It'd be so hard because if you're plotting to get rid of him, he's gonna know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Good evening, Eddie. Hey, Mrs. Chen. Good evening, Ben. Oh. This is high. Oh. Chocolate hasn't arrived yet. No. What's gonna happen? You gonna stop protecting me? I don't Stand. think so. Little old Miss Chen is a little old blackmailer, huh? Less of the old. I am 39. And I am Barry Manilow. I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Well, I <laughs> guess it's gonna have to be Plan B. <laughs> What's Plan B? Ah, not this again! Now pick up some chickens, That's man. crazy. Let's go. So it's either human brains or chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. He, needs that pun, him, 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 him. he doesn't like to eat the chickens because he is they're his friends. Yeah. <laughs> Human brains, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this grossness. <laughs> we are wasting our talent. Uh oh. There's some food. <laughs> dang, <laughs> dang. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him. Leave him be. Leave him be. <laughs> 
I shall remove your head. No, you won't. I will use it for bowling. No, you will not. You I won't. will take it to what is the one that we like, Eddie? This lucky strike. Yeah. Put it down. Lucky strike. I will take it to lucky strike, and I will score a 300 point game. You won't. The rest of your pudgy little boy body will be left here. Why is that lady still there? She's so dumb. Dumpster juice. No, let him down. No. Fine. <laughs> He put him in the drink. one I help. That guy's definitely dead, right? <laughs> that was insane. That was less humane than his dad. Because I'm on his own the phone again! Oh. <laughs> hey, Ed. Hey, Eddie, hi. Be nice to her. You sound mm -hmm. out of breath. I'm, I'm not catching you at a bad time, am I? No, no, not at all. I'm just, uh, just hanging around. I, I'm sorry I haven't returned your calls. I guess. I just needed a little space after the whole alien biting a guy's head off thing, so... Ah, the good old days! <laughs> anyway, so I have some news, and, and I was wondering if we could meet? Yes! Yeah! That would be fine, great. Okay, great. Uh, how's tomorrow night? Yeah, great. Uh, Eight o'clock? Le Okay, great. Looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, okay, me too, bye. Great. It's over with the doctor! That is the voice of a woman who just got brutally dumped! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, she's rebounding. He's happy about that. <laughs> Stop! Don't you want to look your best? Just leave me alone. You are always nitpicking. <laughs> wow. Hey, that's their spot. He pulled out in a white yeah. t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awkward. So, uh, how's it going? How's, uh, how's Mr. Belvedere? Uh, good, good. You know, he's still wiping his ass on the carpet. He learned that from you. <laughs> yeah, no, how's, <laughs> how's, uh, how's the legal aid work going? Well, you know how much I love an underdog. Yeah, yeah, that's so, yeah. so... So? So? Unresolved tension there. No! He was wow. so wrong. Oh, right. Man. Wow. That Why is, would she uh, do that to him? He's <laughs> so much bigger than Why that. Do, yeah. Man. I got you. It's Dan. Holy shit, man. Are you okay? He must be in surgery right now. Yeah, well, I am not okay. Yeah. <laughs> you could just say congratulations. I'm happy for you. You know, like two people who still care enough about each other to lie so that the other one doesn't feel like complete shit. Hey, I'm happy for you, Dan. You know, I'm, uh, no. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That was going to be us, Eddie. <laughs> I, for one, would not be inconsolable if Dan were to fall into traffic. And lose his head, and his feet, <laughs> and, and all of his teeth. <laughs> what? Whoa. Is Venom with you? <laughs> He's dead. You just don't change, do you? He should have been like, she wants to talk to me. This is a huge <laughs> shock. I'm, I'm in, and I'm in love with you. It's a lot to process. No, the truth is you don't love anybody. You can't. Commitment's just not your thing. <laughs> all right, then fine. Do not marry Dan. Dan makes me feel safe. Oh. You made me feel like I was on a roller coaster. Sometimes you just have to know when to get off. Yeah, I'm not yet. Hey, Venom. Take care of him, all right? I'm going to make you cry now, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs> cry. Cry. That sucks. Process. Congratulations, Anne. That's great news. Oh, he was going to make you cry. This looks really unsafe, doesn't it? Yeah, Slow down, I knew Venom Al. would take Why? over. No oh, injuries, you fix them! Eddie, I apologize that I can't mend the heart. Emotional pain, it hits much harder. You just need to pull up your big boy pants and <laughs> dig it. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say. <laughs> Why? Because I'm a real boy. <laughs> and you're just an amoeba. <laughs> It's kind of funny buddy. that they say we. I will get you through <laughs> yeah. this. Sausages and brains. <laughs> I say neither, 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 neither. <laughs> ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> Potatoes, I like tomatoes. Oh tomatoes, my gosh. Tomatoes, they need to live in the country. The whole thing off. Cheer up, old pal. That's the only good thing about him. I'd be like, yo, get these shoulders off. off. <laughs> that we must touch. That's for you. <laughs> Are you pen pals with an ant? Whoa, listen to this. Dearest Pally Pal, I hereby invite you to witness my demise, my final moments on this spinning shit wheel that we call Earth. You 
are responsible for bringing about the end of Cletus Cassidy. It's only right that you Whoa. hold the door for me on my way out. I'd like to stop no. my heart. What if Cletus Cassidy had never been revived? He would never have pushed Grandma down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Bye bye, Grandma, you <laughs> puckered old sphincter. He would never have thrown a hairdryer in the mother's bathtub. He would never <laughs> have been beaten to the brink of death by Daddy O and sent to St. Estes home for unwanted children. Oh, this that's looks what he crazy. Was. This is like the way it's shot. With one bright light. Every hero has an origin story. Oh. Ugh. Your friend. Cletus Cassidy. Kiss, hug. <laughs> Ew, with the Ew. spider death on it. Bad job. You know, I, I should be there. Uh, no, it's a bad idea. I mean, I, I, I put him there. Actually, he put himself there when he decided to be a complete lunatic. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Catch up! <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> This place is an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Who's going to care if I polish off a couple of these idiots? You can't be sure who is and who is not guilty, buddy. They are in prison. Yeah, but you know, some people take false confessions. They, uh, you know, they take pleas. We watch Making a Murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I am a predator, Eddie. Mm -hmm. Lions do not eat salad. Yeah, but you're not a lion, are you? I, mean, I see you more of a vexatious little pig dog house bat thing. You suck. You suck. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't have an explanation for that. I think I just, I'm having a <laughs> panic attack. Um, <laughs> Y'all sign here. Oh, happy day for you, Eddie Brock. How will you live with the weight of snuffing out a man's life? Don't need that. My memory is outstanding. Consequences. Every decision you ever make. Who do we leave behind? How do we leave them? A canubial bed, empty, waiting in the darkness for the rescuer who never comes because of you. This guy makes zero sense. <laughs> you and I are the same. No, no we're not. You feel like home to me, Eddie, like family. And really, truly, that is all I ever wanted in this world, family. Killing your grandmother and your mother sure is a funny way of showing it. Anything you want to unburden yourself with before Yes. I wish for you to see out your days alone as you always have been. You are a cancer to everyone who ever loved you, Eddie. Deceived your trusting fiance. How does he know? No wonder daddy could never look at you again after you killed his wife, your mother, just by being born. You son of a bitch! No, 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 no. Treat my friend again like that! I dare you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! He bit him. Oh my gosh. Did he ingest some of them? Eddie, I have tasted blood before, my friend, and that is not it. Eddie what? Brock has a big secret. Shut up, Cassidy. Oh Ooh. no. He's got a little something. Ooh, and then he ate it. That man's weird. Oh no. Eddie! I want to hear another word out of your mouth. Eddie! I want to hear it. <laughs> Eddie, I am sorry. I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? I said I'm sorry. You didn't mean to, but you did it. I mean, you just decided, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. that's it, you did it. You know, you didn't even think that we might get caught. You might get killed. No, you don't think about things like that, do you? You just think about chickens. You think about you. Let me remind you of something, Eddie. You were a loser before I came along. You were nothing. <laughs> I made you special. He beats him up psychologically. Oh, you made me special. Uh, well, let me tell you something, right? Before you came along, I had a life. I didn't have chickens, right? You but were I had a dreams. loser. Yeah, I had dreams and I had a fiance and I he had was a, really a loser too. TV. He said oh, but it. You destroyed all of those things by yourself. I rebuilt my life and now I just want to live it. Good night. And how did you build this new life? Well, who found the clue on the wall so you could be this big shiny hero? Wow. Yeah. No, 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 no. This is not about being a hero for me. This is about wanting to live in peace. 
No, you, you don't. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Okay, You're never this is going about to me wanting to live without you, whining in my ear all the time about eating bad guys or like nagging me about Anne or destroying my place or destroying my life. Do you know how lucky you are that I chose you? You chose me, <laughs> but I'm the only person that took you in when your friends oh kicked God. you off the planet Ming Mong because you are a reject. You are a pariah. <laughs> Need to protect my ass. You couldn't protect anything. <laughs> I'm sorry! I don't know what came over me, please. Let me fix it. Oh my god. Let's bring it again! Uh-huh. It's getting abusive now. We can fix it. Uh -huh. I feel like you can't win this fight, Eddie. Oh my god. Get out! Take your stuff! Get out! This is my house! <laughs> Keep it down up there! <laughs> Yelling at I know. <laughs> no, 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 two thousand dollars. No, it's already broken. No. You wouldn't die. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no! I'm calling the police. I, I am so sorry. Well, he's oh, he thought TVs he TVs dumped on him. That man thought that he said something, then he retaliated and threw a TV at him. <laughs> he's too fast. That's probably Tom. Oh. You can't win! How dare you! <laughs> Just start playing I some opera. Oh, yeah. No way. <laughs> oh, no. Uh oh. Crazy shit! He's gonna kill him. They just broke up for real. He's about to come busting through the door, ain't he? Uh oh. He tore up his bike. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he didn't never do I wish I never met you! <laughs> Sayonara! <laughs> <laughs> Cletus Cassidy, you have been tried, convicted, and sentenced to death by the state of California. Soon come chaos. Are those your final words? He said, take care of my mouse Enjoy and the mouse show. <laughs> enjoy the show. He said, enjoy the show, geez. That's a lot of whatever that is. It looked like some super soldier serum or something. <laughs> right. About to turn him into Captain Cletus over here. <laughs> Something wicked. This way it comes. Uh -oh. Looks like he's turning into a puppet fish. Dang all this. Oh world. man. Enjoy the show. He was a Fuck, you make it out. You're so lucky. Uh-oh. I'm done. Did he know he knew that was gonna happen? I don't know. Maybe the maybe he had one inside him or something like that, and it was telling him to call Eddie Brock or something. I don't know. Yeah, because I was wondering how he knew so much. Right. right. I thought maybe he was, you know, looking for him because he knew and that was his plan. But when I watched it executed, it seemed like he didn't realize. How much they paying y'all? <laughs> Yeah, because Venom doesn't have a bunch of arms. He can if he wants to, though. Oh, yeah, true. Even if you land a shot, like... What's that going to do? You're literally fighting Lucifer. What are you mm -hmm. going to do? <laughs> Please. Man. Y'all crazy. It has a tornado spin. Any last words, Warden? No! Please! Ah! Well, damn. This dude's extra, ain't he? Oh my gosh. So he's, a, he's like a serial yeah, killer Quentin venom. May you rot and burn in hell. May your walls fall down and may I live to tell. <laughs> 
I walk out a wise, a stronger man. And warden, you tasted just like ham. Hmm. So the one in him is country. He is Cletus. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of wasted product. <laughs> you two are being evicted. <laughs> no, not sending you a share. Come on, don't look at me like that. It was never, never going to work out. Oh, that's so scary. It's like Spider-Man. What if you're just sitting there and there is something up there like that and we just didn't know it? Somebody be reacting to it. <laughs> Craziest things cut on oh. film. Who's Breaking playing? news. Serial killer Cletus Cassidy is on the run oh, as a statewide manhunt is underway after oh, last shit. night's audacious escape from San Quentin Prison. Nope. You gotta jump out the window. Hey. Well, you're not dead? No. Can I come in? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, on a scale of one to ten, it's eleven, man. Reports coming from San Quentin are quite frankly bananas. Nice TV. How oh, it's new. Hopefully he just got a Roku. So what did he tell you? Me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, how come every time you seem to be at the center of these things and then miraculously you know nothing about it? <laughs> Maybe I'm lucky. <laughs> but he really didn't. The reports coming out of San Quentin. The bananas were... What do you mean by bananas? Remember when I asked you a similar question? Information is currency. You of all people should know that. I thought he'd come to try to find a man that nearly got him executed, but I guess not. He needs to get some protection. For real, and he, he doesn't have Venom up. anymore. That's what I'm saying. The Daily Bugle. What would Venom do? What would Venom do? Before you find me and he would eat your face, All right. You and I are the same. Bright light. Oh, he has to find the bright light. Bright light. Ugh. Is that Venom? Crapola! Another <laughs> one bites the dust! He's having a hard time finding a host, huh? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Look at all these weirdos! Dang, he's just beat himself. Greatest costume ever! Oh my god! Whoop! Is that Japanese? No, I made it myself. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, no, no, not my type. <laughs> I am out! Of the Eddie closet. Hey, who's under that costume, though? Oh my gosh. Mm, that looks kind of gross, don't it? It has a tail. Ugh. Just killing whoever. Kind of looks like Robert Kowski right it's now. Sir Red got to have it. Let's get this party started. So him and his are on the same page. Basically. Eddie's always fighting with his. He's like, I'm hungry. He's like, go for it, man. Well, their relationship started out pretty good, but over time it's sour. Once right? I kill that thing that made They're me, in the romance be stage. indestructible. I know where to find him, but first I need you to help me find something I lost. Deal. Oh, they just kind of met each other. Right. <laughs> it's just making fun of <laughs> Jeez! Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I didn't see all these other costumes. He actually does kind of fit in. I know. Is Venom about to rap? Thank you. Oh, shit. Your costume is amazing! <laughs> Thank you, one person. <laughs> and he was wrong! Oh. He kept me! Hidden! Because he was ashamed! But look at me now! You love me! And I'm free! <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, whatever you say. Stop this cruel treatment of aliens! It is wrong! <laughs> All of us should be able to live together upon this ball of rock! <laughs> I love you! I love you too! <laughs> They are not on the same page. Protector out. <laughs> oh, yes, he did. <laughs> he said, Little protector. Whoa, that was a hard act to follow. <laughs> I wish you could have seen me tonight. Oh, <laughs> he's talking about Eddie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's looking for you too, maybe. Well, he's losing everyone he cares about. You don't want to go there at all. Do places like that actually exist in real life? Were you breaking divine. Yeah, vine-infested haunted haunted mansions. 
Yeah, it's like Luigi's want. Mansion on it. Yeah, if you want Scooby Doo to help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, plus bright light. That's the house. Uh, Sandy Brock here. Look, uh, this may be a long shot, but I, I think I may have found something. Go on, anyone FB. you got? Well, I'm sitting in front of a, have a, have a tree, and I'm, I'm looking at it. It's, uh, it's got a carving on it. It says, Lead us something. CK loves F. Cletus Cole with a K. Cassidy. <laughs> Is that his name? Cletus Cassidy? Yeah. FB, that's uh, that's Francis Barrison. Wow, that, that's quick. Yeah, it's impossible, <laughs> Eddie. She's dead. I, uh, I shot her. Oh, yeah, he did shoot her in the eye, but he didn't. Oh, that was the same cop. I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize Crazy. that either. Was I supposed to know Cletus' last name was Cassidy? Well, yeah. They done said it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Got any of those internet? Oh my gosh, look, he's connected to the computer. You're alive? Now he's gonna go find her. When I get out, I'm gonna slice your face off! Oh, Where to party? You're never oh, getting no. out of here, Siegfried. Well, Francis. It seems your sweetheart has done a Houdini act over there at San Quentin. Oh, don't get excited. He's not gonna find you. Screw you. How <laughs> I wonder where he could be. I'm right here. Right. Oh, oh my gosh. No. <gasps> that scene was kind of crazy. Hi, baby. I don't want you to freak out, okay? Um, I'd like you to meet Carnage. I mean, she's pretty open-minded, right? Right. But the minute she yells, Carnage is gonna be like, out. That is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little freaky, huh? <laughs> I didn't know this would be a love story. <laughs> 66. My dream car. Yeah, I remember. Let's see what you get. Uh oh. They're like Bonnie and Clyde. so low to the ground for no trunks in here oh, oh god out you get out he needs some chocolate yeah Venom? i'm having trouble keeping them standing <laughs> where's eddie oh look she just got some shipments oh let's go man i thought it was like a special oh, type of chocolate Dang. Put out an APB, form a perimeter, blockade state lines, and bring in Brock. Damn. <laughs> I'm no use to anybody here. I'm just wasting your time. I keep thinking, what else is Eddie Brock not sharing about Cletus Cassidy? Now, why was it Eddie that Cletus wanted to witness execution? Huh? Well, bad things happen around you. And now Clyde's found Bonnie and there's a dead psychiatrist at a facility I knew nothing about until today. And people are talking about seeing monsters. Everywhere Cletus goes, so goes this supposed monster. Oh. He bit me, okay? Just tell him. No, but he thinks he might have venom, maybe. I don't know. Oh, he didn't realize that. Yeah, you're right. I can't answer any more of your questions without making my phone call. 
He's like, okay, you want to play hardball? I'll get you a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what secrets want, Eddie? They want out. That's why it's so hard to keep. That was a good one. Mm -hmm. If he told him all that, though, he would never believe him right now. I know, he was like, an alien somebody. Eddie asked him to do this, <laughs> he doesn't have anyone else that can help. I mean, we're going to be late for the party. He's in trouble, Dan. Yeah, trouble is his thing. Are there going to be aliens again? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> How much do I need to worry about you right now? Uh, I'm, I'm messed up. I mean, it couldn't be worse, and it's, it's all on me. Whatever you did, Eddie, you just need to tell the cops the truth. No, no, no. I can't tell them that they are chasing a serial killer who's also got an alien inside mm -hmm. of him. Venom? No, he's, he's, not, he's not here. All I know that it, is that he can't go along without eating food, right? So he's eating chicken, and he eats chocolate, and that's it. And that is only if he's still observing the rules. We need to find him. You mean I need to find him? Yeah, you need to find him, please. And then I, I, I will fix it. I'll try. Thank you. That'd be a good deal, though, if you could eat all that chocolate without this gaining weight. Is this is It's me. What do you want? Oh, she's a charmer. Okay, listen. You broke <laughs> Eddie's heart. Okay, I actually don't have time to explain why that's wildly off the mark. Do you know where Venom is? <laughs> you want to break his heart, too? I'm not going to get into who did what to who. Eddie said that he might be here because of the chocolate. I, I just need to speak with the alien. Well, hey, you said there weren't going to be any aliens. I meant more aliens. <laughs> Cletus has a symbiote. Oh my god, any other information you're pathologically lying about? Pussy. <laughs> Excuse me? Eddie <laughs> needs We're all thinking just it, right? called me a pussy. He said he didn't need him. That life was better without him. Okay, I don't understand. What do you care? Oh, wait a second. Oh, Venom's in her. Oh, no. Right now. no, no, no. He's going to hurt her. Eddie's going to have to fight this battle all by his little big self. Oh, don't be a big baby. Go help your friend. He said I couldn't get a job fixing toilets. He won't survive without you. Of course he won't. Because I am the hero of the two of us. So petty. Yeah, you're the big sexy hero. <laughs> you're the coolest, you're the hottest, and you're the bravest. <laughs> I am. Um... No, I'm still standing right here. No one likes you, Dan! God, I love seeing you in action. <laughs> Let's go save that asshole. <laughs> That's all it took. That's all it took, a little flirtatious activity. <laughs> I promised we'd be free from here. They just burn it down. A wedding. Three guests. The cop that took my eye. Eddie Brock. And Venom. A red wedding. We get the reference. Oh, Marines of Castamere, cue it. A girl venom. He's grumpy. I'm not talking to him. Wait, he doesn't want to come out. <laughs> what do you mean? We have to leave right now because Cletus is going to wipe the city out. We're not doing shit. Until he apologizes. So that isn't right, right now. An apology. I need him to beg. Oh my God. <laughs> Come Fine, on, I Venom. I will be the bigger of us. I will always be the bigger of us. He said he's listening very sincerely. All right, listen <laughs> to this. I am sorry. <laughs> Not the right tone. I'm sorry. No. I I am sorry. So weird. I'm sorry. I don't know why you're shouting at me. Because. Okay, well, fine. I was a, I was a loser before I met you. Yep, that's right. And now that's right. I am someone <laughs> special. Damn right. Why don't you put a cherry on it? A cherry on that? Right. I am truly very sorry for everything that I said, everything that I did not say, everything that I did, you know, and probably everything that I, I did, I did not. Yeah, he's thinking. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. oh. <laughs> Poor Dan. Uh, you can you can kiss me. No. 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 Oh God, I'm never doing that again. God, well maybe never. I don't know. Honestly, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Pack quickly. Don't stay. And if for any reason. Fire and sound. I've got her. <laughs> Not sorry. Ah, oh. God, I'm so sorry. Man, those two need some serious couples counseling. <laughs> He just didn't hear him slowed up and he's backing up. I'm pulling Damn, up the you Brock are not now. Right, bro. Oh no. Put your hands on your head! Which, um, hands? <laughs> we found you. Shriek will be so pleased. Oh, her name's Shriek. No! Brockalicious! He just cleaned his apartment up. 
bring away a nice shiny lure Dang. for little fishy. <laughs> Left her exposed. This guy right here is wilding, dude. Okay. Oh no. Man, come on, brother. <laughs> Poor Dan. <laughs> Hello, Ann. I just incapacitated your boyfriend. He'll be okay with an answer about where Eddie Brock is. <laughs> well, I'm sure as shit not gonna tell you that. <laughs> Cletus will make a swap. Her head for his. That was their wedding invitation on a napkin? <laughs> hey, Dad. What's going on? Eddie, they got her. Huh? They took her where? Their wedding! Grace Cathedral, hurry! We're on our way. Everybody looks like we are going to a wedding. Oh, would that be kind of pairs? <laughs> you bet your ass. What are those? I don't know, but it's just something at a wedding. <laughs> I just knew he was going to say something goofy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this wedding is nice, ain't it? <gasps> this is so creepy. Fractured angel. <laughs> they really work as a couple, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dearly beloved. Gifts first. Actually, traditionally. Shut mm -hmm. your mouth. <laughs> They're making but the sacrifices. Baby, I got for you what you want most. The cop. The cop. <laughs> Continue, Father. Dearly beloved, if anyone objects to this marriage, uh -oh. speak now or forever hold them. <laughs> Oh. Death to you, father. No. Not you, father. You, father. Right. Shit. Venom's his son. We don't. This is much worse than I thought. That is a red one. Wow. We should leave immediately. Uh oh. I think we'll get over it. We never liked her anyway. So let's go. No. Congratulations to the happy couple. We are leaving. Hey. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Okay, you need to come out right now. Because I am feeling super, super vulnerable right here. Brock's just like you. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's a red one. We can't. <laughs> I will let you eat everybody. You can eat them all. But I thought he came Apart from him. Should he the be the same? You cannot eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If you can beat him, you can eat him. Yeah, the red one definitely looks more advanced, don't it? Mm hmm. Oh, that hurt him, so he, okay, I see. <laughs> Time to die! That's the spirit! I mean, us! We are going to die! <laughs> How's he gonna win? There's gotta be something. <laughs> uh oh. I killed you. You can't kill a ghost. <laughs> Kill him, but keep your mouth shut. Just turn it down. Who do you think you're talking to? Stop him! My cat! They need to stop arguing with each other. Honey Moon over! Power up! Did he just eat the priest? Yeah. To be honest, I didn't really see, did you? I don't know. This guy reminds me of Percy. Mayday, mayday, mayday! But he's nice. Yeah, he's he is nice. Ah! Oh, she's for real mad about that. Guy. What do they say oh. about an eye for an eye? Did it leave you ah! Ah! Oh. It's like it's a game ball. I know, but not. I guess like not in the viper. Fire and sound, except without the sound. Oh. Oh. Night. Is that Dan? Good job, Dan. If I'm that dude, I'm gonna date tonight with somebody else. <laughs> see. Oh, good job, man. Oh, they're just gonna have to fight it as mono Cletus. Mono, Brock? Yeah, mono and mono. I got Brock. Come on, Brock. You know how I spent my endless days? <laughs> Writing love letters. I spent them thinking about how you only told one side of the story. 
Oh, God. <laughs> You didn't write about the part where Cletus was abused by mommy, daddy, and granny! They can never be friends. I hope so, but they seem like beta fish. Because how are they you ever going to kill each other? The world <laughs> how he was a scared little boy. That no one cared about. Yeah, but you're like 50 now. <laughs> you never ask yourself. Why? <laughs> That's bad journalism. <laughs> Ow. Gee. <laughs> oh, happy days. Ah! Ah! I'm not a crazy man, but I am a vengeful one. You're going to watch her die. Uh oh. Oh, she's not even there. Oh, so she got out. The chest was deeper than I thought. She's not even there. She's just going around. She's looking at him rock dog. Listen, the possibility of her dying is for real because when Stacey died in Sony and I'm... Do something! Eddie, I'm afraid we cannot beat them. That's too much. You gotta stop him. What are you doing? I'll shut her up for good. Uh -oh. Scream, scream, scream. Get up! I can't. They're not symbiotic. Get away from me! Shut up! Take True. your hands off my wife! They're not a match. We are. That's right. We are. Together, Together we are! The lethal protector! Yes. <laughs> that guy looked turned on, didn't he? <laughs> The third little boyfriend. <laughs> now you gotta hit it, make it vibrate. Let there be. This is just like the Gwen Stacy scene. I know. Oh, he's tearing up. <laughs> oh, is he no. gonna lower her down? I got you. Okay. Come on. Mm. Father, one of us must die. Oh, we need fire or sound. You know, I was thinking she's gonna turn on him somehow. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is that, oh they use the bell. Uh oh. Oh my god. Is she alright? <gasps> nah, man. Poor Francis. Right. Maybe, you know? Separately, that fell. That big old red sludge pile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of look like it, right? Put it in a jar. Oh. Oh, you eating them? That's his son, ain't it? He did not taste good. Dang, you just ate your kid and then hated on his taste. <laughs> yeah, you gotta eat him. Yeah. I'm a killer. With or without the monster, Eddie. Yeah, I'm head gone. I wanted your friendship. Man, yeah, shut your ass. And the rain and I'm everything. I'm sorry, Cletus. Fuck this guy! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Venom Mountain out of there. You in there, get him out of here. They're gonna come for you both. I know. It sure said. Mother Take care. said. <laughs> it really did. Yeah, you too, champ. Todd, you take care too. Aww. I like you. We totally didn't need him, though. Honestly, 
I think he was more of a hindrance than hell. <laughs> this sounds like some Captain America music, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was dead. Monsters. What? Why does he have blue eyes? Maybe he died and the Night King rose him up? Now there's Don Quixote and the guy next to him is uh, Sancho Panza. Sometimes they didn't like each other a whole lot, but ultimately they worked together to bring out the best in each other. Just like Sonny and Cher. Eddie, the time has come. I must go alone. Oh, is he leaving? It is me they want. Well, my dear Sancho. He's about to go back to that club. Facts. Oh, you think? Here's what you think. What does that even mean? It means that we are. Fugitives! No, mm, yeah. Yeah. On the run! <laughs> that too. An iguana. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he went to like South America, huh? Thank you for bringing me here. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. Aww. I'm sorry that we can't do anything about the old wind in your hair situation. Osho says, when you love someone, you accept Osho. the whole person with all of their defects. You just said that you love me. Um, you did. Where will we go? I don't know. Anywhere that needs a lethal protector, I suppose. Oh, you really meant it. <laughs> yeah. We will need a cape and a mask. Mm, no, no, I think you got that covered. When he said I must go on, I thought for sure they're about to go back to that club. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to, but they're on the run. <laughs> that looks like our beach, right? Minus the trees. We don't like have a beach, but we live in Georgia. We go vacation in Tampa if we ever vacation. Every once in a while. Rare. You want with me on the cold block nice now you front row for the spotlight. Directed by Andy Circus. That's Gollum. embarazada. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show. Yeah. Maximiliano's feelings are not being validated. Yeah, well, he never <laughs> should have kept such an insane secret, man. <laughs> we all have a past, Eddie. Are you hiding stuff from me? 80 billion light years of hive knowledge across universes would explode your tiny little brain. Right. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Man? See? <laughs> well, let me give you a taste then. Just the smallest fraction of the things we symbiotes have experienced. Okay. Ready, Eddie? Yeah. What's uh -oh. happening? No, 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 no. It wasn't me. Don't know. What? What? What, what is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll that until we've uncovered guy. The I'm Jay Jonah Davis. Good night. And God help us all. Dude, what are you doing in my room? It's not his fault. I... That's insane. That's going to lead to the next Spider-Man movie. Because that was the one with... Uh, what's it, my favorite actor? What's his name? Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal. Right. Remember at the end, he exposes Spider-Man? Yeah, he was Mysterio or was something. Was that not like that? the one where it was? Yeah. So that leads into the next one. Guys, and he says, what the? <laughs> yeah, he goes, what the? <laughs> Guys, I really like that movie, man. That was... Venom Let There Be Carnage. That was definitely Carnage. I thought the Lots hardest of part carnage. of the movie was when they're just riding down the road and they just grab that truck and yank it off a bridge. <laughs> That's some cold-hearted stuff right there. I just really like the movie, babe. On a scale from one to Carnage. Did you like this movie? I, like I said, I... You like the way I formulate my question? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that what, the no heck kind of, what the heck kind of answer is that? But I, I, it was, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Marvel movie, but <laughs> are you kidding? You're kidding. You gotta be kidding. Get but anyways, on. it wasn't my favorite Marvel movie, but I like how it brought that universe into the universe we know so right like I really what happened that. at the end like what was that it looked like it looked like he was doing some multiversal stuff right because when when that guy came out he said what are you doing in my room but it was their room initially right but yeah. the thing is when he exposed them to that information that he said he was going to show them the stuff that would fracture his tiny human conscious brain i don't really know what if what, what if it was just the multiverse I don't know. yeah someone explain to me man maybe i'm dumb i missed that but what exactly happened there? Because even Venom seemed like that was something that was beyond his control. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was a blip or something. I don't know. 
maybe I don't, maybe maybe I don't know. Jake Gyllenhaal, you know how he's Mysterio, yeah, and he uh, changes reality. Maybe that whole thing was just like a fake projection. Maybe. Man, I have no idea, guys. I don't know, guys, but I guess we're about to find out on No Way Home. But I'm glad we did watch that. I mean, I know, I know it was an unpopular opinion for us to watch it because obviously when I was like, which one do we watch in terms of order? Yeah, people were saying we should skip it for what? Yeah, that was fun. I mean, you, you should you should have watched it. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know. You know, we're going to put this one on YouTube, right? Yeah. So, we're, yeah, yeah, for sure. I really liked the movie, man. I thought that visually it was really fun to watch. I thought they did a really good job uh, showing Carnage off. I think they did a good job making him a lot different, mm -hmm. a lot more different than Venom. Venom looks so advanced and so scary in the first movie, but it's not really until you introduce Carnage that you realize he really is almost like a prototype in a way. Right. And, well, uh, the other one was Gary Riot. He because he had all those fighting techniques, but right. but this one with all the arms and like the tornado thing, that, right. that was creepy. <laughs> it's almost like Venom's face is something that you almost come to like sympathize with in a way, because right. you know him, but Carnage was just scary, right. man. That's a face only a mother could love right there for right. sure. But I really loved it. I thought Woody Harrelson was really funny in this movie. Uh, good, good seeing him in that role, man, for sure. I thought he yeah. did a really good job as like a psychotic bad guy. I thought that him and the girl were made for each other in this yeah. role. They were such a I kind of I kind of liked them couple. together. I was like wanting them to be together. I don't know why. Because they're fun. villains, yeah. Because they're fun. villains, they were but crazy. It was it was funny because I guess like they went way back and like that was the one thing he cared about to get out to see. Yeah, so. that is true. I really like I I I don't really love Anne and Dan being like eddie's teammates but it's kind of funny <laughs> it makes for good comedy honestly. it makes for good comedy yeah that guy's wild dude. yeah because like, they're putting it, his it's neck not realistic line. at all <laughs> i'll be like Poosh. <laughs> too many fish in the sea yeah but too many symbiotes in the in the universe to yeah be eddie should one. definitely as a reporter have a doctor and a lawyer on his team he definitely should 100 it's helpful and and venom 100 <laughs> Uh, I'm just glad that Venom didn't decease in this one, man, because I, I really was getting the vibe that they would kill him off in this one. But I guess they're. So I guess they're do gonna... you think Venom? Do you think Venom and Eddie are gonna go help Spider Man, or are they gonna go try to beat up Spider Man? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's the funny. thing. That's because that's the thing when you, when we saw that. I don't know if it was like he's for or against them because if you think about it, that was propaganda Spider Man because they they're gonna think spider-man started all that stuff mysterio did or whatever man that's what i'm saying like we watched that right after endgame i'm ready to get back into that yeah like sorry that story was like left there but that story I was, was into really that like story good, yeah 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 for sure and it's been a long time so but yeah you're right babe i don't know what's gonna happen in it i don't really know much to say about this movie man it wasn't a very complex movie it was a pretty pretty simple movie it was a fun movie i just thought at the end of the day it was a really fun watch I right. think sometimes they make movies that are supposed to be dramas that you can watch over and over again and uncover so many things and get different perspectives on it. But this one was just fun. Man. Yeah, I really like the banter between Tom Hardy and Venom because Venom's a troll, basically. Yeah. And in this one, I really was contemplating like what it would be like a lot more than in the first one, because in the yeah. first one, I was so thrown off by the concept. But in right. this one, I was thinking like this would be miserable. Like this would be like an abusive relationship. Yeah. There ain't no waking up in the middle of the night and leaving this one. I like the concept that they're both losers. Like they're both losers they and they like other. unite <laughs> right. to, to become yeah, someone that's better. That's what I like about it. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I, like. I, I like that Venom's a loser in his world and Eddie's just a loser because everything he comes in contact with is broken. <laughs> and Venom has this way of like just constantly keeping him down he's like you're a loser yeah. <laughs> just remember when you're feeling good inside yeah you are a loser. you're not I'm, I'm the best part of you yeah. yeah and i like that his weakness is like chocolate <laughs> it's just right it's like all the things that make a toxic couple they sort of yeah and i think that's why i enjoyed this movie man because i didn't have to take it serious yeah you know what I mean? it was and just you could just I can laugh. enjoy yeah. those those elements of the toxic relationship and all yeah. that so that was a very, you know, every good story has like a relationship on some level in it, you know? And yeah, man, I just thought it was really unique. This was a really unique one. So it was fresh and it was fun. I'm really glad that we watched it for sure. Right. If you guys didn't like it, can you comment below? Was it because it wasn't comic, comic accurate or was it because like it was just like every, I can see how it would be everywhere. But if you're just taking it like as like a face value type of movie, it was fun. Maybe it lacked for drama. If right. I was going to say anything, I would say maybe it was a little lighthearted, this series. You yeah. Know, you don't get, you like Eddie Brock and you, you, you like the character and you like Venom, but I don't know how emotionally invested you get. Right. You know? 
But I think that's kind of why I like it. <laughs> but, but you know. no, I'm. I feel like if Venom was to die, I think I would cry. Yeah, I genuinely yeah, yeah. feel like I would. Well, you didn't. I, I like. But I'm saying like because I feel attached to Venom. I, right. I like the Venom character. Yeah, I mean, if he died, and it was an emotional, dramatic scene for sure. But this show keeps it light, which sometimes yeah. I really appreciate, man. You know. Much like the Spider-Man movies in the MCU. Just like yeah. the Spider-Man movies. So this in the is Spider Verse. Here we go with the same. Yeah. Right. It's like every MCU movie you could basically link it to a parallel, right? And some of them are for you know old mature people. Some are for you know your mid twenties, early thirties, and some are for your high schoolers, like the Spider-Man. So it's just funny to see. It's just funny to see the range of Marvel. You know, yeah. they they really can tell. They can tell similar stories in, in many different ways, you know. For different and audiences. Sometimes I complain because sometimes I'm like, I don't know about this one, guys. It needed more drama. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know about this one, guys. This one was too dramatic. Uh, and I don't really know why I'm like that. Sometimes I just want more. Sometimes I want less. But I think this one had just enough. And, and I can't wait to watch the third one that comes out in October. So that's exciting that there's a whole new one that we get to watch because we watch all these other ones. So cool. That's that's crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to watch that one, man. So when that one comes out, just know that no one on YouTube wants to watch it more than your boy. Because I actually, <laughs> for some reason, really like these movies. I just think that I don't know, man. They're fun, man. I like the Venom character, and I just like seeing him in a different light. Because like I said, Venom was the Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire Venom to me. So right. Seeing this character and just this unique dynamic between these two. What was the best portrayal of Venom? I guess did you think the Tobey Maguire one? When, or the Eddie Brock that oh, the Bell I like Tower this one. one, but you're asking like comic book yeah. wise and stuff. Yeah, I'm asking which one. Like, did you guys connect with most like comic book wise? I yeah, guess you yeah, could yeah, say yeah, for sure. Uh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, man. I had so much fun watching this. Uh, we got Spider Man, no got way home. Spider Man, no way home. Then we got into the Spider Verse, I believe, across, across, the, across Spider-Verse, the Spider Verse, yeah. and then we got yeah, which I'm excited to see that one because yeah, the too. first one was extremely unique. Uh, we were praising it in the last thing we put out, but that movie was it was really refreshing in a sense because mm-hmm. we don't do a lot of animations on our channel which is right. a shame we were actually talking the other day should we ever try like any like disney movies stuff like that you know right um, the aristocats stuff like that not saying we've only that seen on our channel but. animation wise was spider-man and up, up. Yeah. yeah so only and two up things. was a was a was like a treasure man I, I really had fun watching that one but don't go watch it because Jeez, I feel like you know, I might have cried in that one more than I did the Green Mile. I don't know. <laughs> it was pretty equal. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that was a good time. It was heartbreaking. Then. That was a good time. Wasn't that the movie that we like didn't color correct at all? We yeah. Out and it wasn't color corrected. It's like really. Yeah. Out. That. Yeah. Right, so don't right, watch right. that. But yeah, yeah. yeah, we come a long way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't even know what I'm on about at this point. But guys, we're gonna be hopping into um, Daredevil for sure. We got the Spider Man's coming. And then we're just going to keep on knocking this thing out. So we did put out a poll. If you guys haven't voted in it, please make your way over there. But we basically had it between, what was it, Vikings? No, I think what I think the two that are head-to-head last time I checked was Stranger Things and The Boys. And what was the third option? Um, the Last Kingdom and the Vikings. And yeah. Vikings. We Reg said to say Vikings. Don't say the Vikings. Okay, so Vikings. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Yeah, thank you, Reg. People will be on my head about that. So, yeah, Vikings, um, The Boys. What else did you say? Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Yeah, what was the other and one? And Last Kingdom. The Last Kingdom, that's what it yeah. was. Um, those are our options, man. So go over there, drop drop your suggestion. And if it's something that's not in the poll, man, you can definitely suggest it. But at this point, those are the ones that we find to be... Common, like right, right. we want you guys to do. Blah, so we'll blah. probably do those, man. But if you have a suggestion that is not that, you can always drop it. Always drop it. Because a lot of times, we just don't even know about these shows. And when you guys give us suggestions and stuff, man, we will look up these trailers and stuff we don't mm. do it for like we don't do it on camera because at some point everything we do can't be on camera because it's time consuming but um if you guys drop something new we will definitely check out the trailer and if it's something that generally piques our interest then we'll try to push it hey I, I, speaking of which i'm sorry to interrupt you but for patreon there's this new show because we were watching the fight the other night and there's one like based off the gladiator series I'm wondering how that that one's gonna be. We'll see. It's a Peacock original. Right, right, right. You guys probably know what it is. Yeah, it looked good, right? It looked I mean, right. it looked good, but we'll see. I'm still wanting to watch From. So yeah. Um, I know that show is. I think it's got like two seasons out. I have uh, not seen it yet. So, but it's the creators of Lost guys, and that that to us means that we want to want to see it. I really want to see it. I don't think it's popular enough for everyone to want to watch it with us, but. Maybe if I ever get time to where I can actually watch it, maybe I'll just watch it myself. I don't know and throw it on here, but 
that's something that I personally want to see. I don't know if it, maybe it's not that good. I don't know, but it just we'll looked really fun. There's another movie. Remember, there's, I don't know if it's a movie or a show, but there's something, guys, where there's this person in the woods and they're like deep in the woods and then they're looking and there's like this glass wall and there's people inside of it or something. It's just a really scary looking show. I have no idea what it is because I've only seen the trailer genuinely like one time. You watched the trailer with me and I remember being like, holy cow, that looked crazy. Maybe you was dozing off. Maybe. But it looked crazy. But if you guys know what I'm talking about, please let me know because I haven't been able to find it. I tried Googling it one time and I, I looked crazy. I was like, <laughs> anyways, I, I couldn't find it based on my keywords. So um, <laughs> help me out. Help me out. But I don't know what it's about, but it was a scary movie. But that's something I know it's the middle of summer and we don't really do a lot of horror movies. So it seems like we should wait till October Which we or used to. But we, but wanna, we, need, we need to get back on that. I, I like the horror movies. I don't movies, really man. like them, though. That's kind of why I'm like. That's why I like We them. need to get back on that. When, I think it would make for good content because you're just so dramatic and scary. Oh, and that's but not that's fake. the thing. That's but people don't. Girl. People are like, oh, stop it. I'm She's gotten better as we've gotten older. But when she was younger, she would be like, babe, can you can you get this out the basement? I think there's a snake in the floor. And there wouldn't even be a snake. But she would just say things like that because she was scared of it. But I think it makes for good content. And I really enjoy the content. I like the movies and stuff. So. Yeah, you do because you're crazy. I like it, man. It's fun. It's fun because it's different because... Horror movies, I feel like horror movies are just really unique in a way. And I feel like, I don't know, man. I feel like when you hop into a horror movie, it's just, it just feels a lot different. It just feels different than other movies. I don't know. Maybe because you feel like you're going to get stabbed in the back of your head the whole time. I don't know. But we need to check out some of those. So even if it's horror, I know it's not really our genre. The reason I'm mentioning it is because I was mentioning like the animations and stuff. But if it's something that's not exactly our, our genre, we're always looking to expand, man. So if you guys want to see any stuff like that, just let us know. We usually get the same type of suggestions because we sort of have our niche. Yeah, and people kind of like the same stuff. Yeah, for sure. Like but Star Wars is always one. Harry Potter is always Which one. Which we'll do, but guys, we understand that um, Star Wars... Well, I know Star Wars is big. I don't know how many movies are in Harry Potter, but there's probably at least like five of them, right? Mm. So that's a pretty big series, you know? And I just feel like we have a show that's coming out but i don't really want to hop into that until we're ready right i don't want to hop into something that's that big and uh grand and not be able to give it the same focus and attention right because we're about to start stranger things we think because that's what's winning but stranger things and we still have house of the dragons we still have daredevils to put out we have a lot on our plate but we're willing to do all of it (laughs) well the biggest thing is i just don't want to watch something like star wars and then like if we're going to go in where we want to go all in on it you know what i mean like we want to really write down our names and put in our time and rewatch our edits and just really try to learn and get what's going on and think about it. So much like we did with game of Thrones. We tried to, at least man, we really tried. It was such a complicated advanced show. So it was hard at the end of the day. It was just hard to keep up with what was going on, but, and we'll give that same energy to stranger things if it wins. And hopefully, hopefully it wins. But the thing is guys, I can say like, not everything we watch is equal, right? So sometimes we watch something and it's just endearing and I just absolutely love it. And my engagement couldn't be higher and I'm hanging on to every word, you know, and then sometimes it's not quite like that. And sometimes I don't like it quite as much. So it's just harder to follow. And, you know, if we're going to watch something like Star Wars, something like that, I really want to be able to give it my best because right. I understand the fandoms on those things are huge. So, yep. guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Like always, man, y'all are the greatest. See you on the next one.